I'm just gonna get myself a table coral so I don't have to go on a trip. I think that's the only... That's the only thing I think I'm going to... Kind of break trend on so I can get just... So I don't have to go on a trip for table coral every time I get out here. So synthetic fibers, diamond, and titanium. What do we need for synthetic fibers? I haven't even seen that before. I just don't want to have to make a trip all the way up there every single time I need... Table coral. So I should figure out oh, where to get blood oil from. I vaguely remember. I should maybe consider making some beacons, but that... Eh. Because, yeah, it was down that... No, it wasn't down the hole. It was kind of nearby-ish, though. Because, yeah, what does the reinforced diving suit does? Physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. That's... Yeah, that's helpful. Okay, so metallic alchemy. If I want to make metal salvage... It's acid mushroom spores. Copper is creep vine. Gold, silver... Lithium is lantern fruit, which we'll be working on soonish. Nickel. Oh. So ruby is quartz and blood oil, which I should be able to farm? I wonder if you can actually have grow farms on your own, uh, on, on the outside of your cyclops. Probably not. So is water done? Uh, any roguelikes tonight? Nope, I haven't gotten to it. People were like, you should do this, and I was like, yep. Oh! Table coral sample is brain coral sample and creep vine cluster. That's not actually that much easier. But yeah, I've got to plant the blood oil next time we go back to the base. All right. Well, in that, in that case, oh, what do I need to make lithium? Just so I could maybe save myself some time. Because ruby is easy. Lantern fruit. Because, so I need lead. I have some. Enamel glass. I think I have some plasteel ingots, which I think is just lithium and a titanium ingot. You can grow brain coral in the exterior grow, bre grow bed. That's helpful. Okay, so really it's just we need an advanced wiring kit and associated other stuff. So that's wiring kit, gold, and computer chip. Pricey, but not overwhelmingly, actually. Though, really, yeah, I just need a lot more lithium. Well, let's go see if I can find some of that... Some of those uranite crystals, and then we'll go from there. Oh. They're all grown. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because I don't even know what I'm looking for for uranite crystals. I also want to stab a peeper or two. Probably should have scanned that actually. Oh well, next next round. Careful, careful. Not very careful. Okay. I don't really know what we need uranite for. It might just be a situation where we need uranite for... We need uranite... Um, uranite for, like, reactor rods or something. Ruby, though, I know we're going to need a lot of ruby for stuff. So I'm going to prioritize that a little bit. If I can. If there is, like, a, a massive need to get a bunch of uranite, let me know. Because then I can actually go to my way for it. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to go scan for rubies after this. Okay, so it's, it's just for powering stuff. Cool. Because I think I can alchemy it if I do need, like, a bunch. And I might be able to alchemy quite a lot if I do it well. Okay, so let's let's go back 
I mainly got a han handful if I need to worry about it, and just so I have a couple. So it's mainly for a base if that's too deep for solar panel. Everyone keep those guys. Um, yeah, so what's what's required for a uranite crystal anyway? Jelly shroom f spores and cave sulfur. Oh, can I plant those? But yeah, I should be able to just power my reactor off of mushrooms, if we're lucky. Or fish, actually. I mean, it seems to be doing a bang-up job. Okay, and yeah, rubies was blood oil, which I can already farm. Quartz, I should figure out how to farm more consistently. Okay, let's, let's stop with that. Because we don't need any of those. Reef back, lithium... I could just try and scan for lithium, but I bet it's just going to give me, like, a, a small ping for a large lithium deposit and nothing more. Well, I guess I'll just go take a look at it if I'm directly on top of it. Yeah, there it is. Big ol' lithium chunk. Special equipment is required, which I'm assuming is the prawn? Okay, so this is... this is not. Uh, da, 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 da. So the last one is... Ruby. Because Ruby we can just grab while we're out and about. And then after... after this I'll probably just... go back to the... here. While that scans, I'm gonna go stab a couple more fish. Can I kill him? I try and click. And it don't matter. Well. I guess the easiest and best option... Oh, there it is. Easiest and best option is for me to just bail. And, uh... Or bail. Just grab him. And then bring him back. Question. Can I... I'm just gonna go make one hell of a farm, I think. Not here, obviously. But, oh, we have the pygmy. Let's see if I can just grow one of these. Use planter, can I? So they're actually food. Mostly water. Yeah, so it looks like I, I can't grow them very well. Okay, so let's go find a handful of handful more rubies. If I'm able to. And then I'll just leave. Again, I can make it, especially if we uh, start farming blood oil, but this will save me some amount of time in the long run. Or at least initially. And yeah, then we get really, really heavy on the al alchemy, and then pretty much not have to worry about grabbing any more. Some of that stuff looks like it's going to be kind of a pain to get to, though. Nope, 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 shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be directly above that. Guess who almost made a real bad mistake? Ouch. Well, that's all the rubies I could need for a long time. It looks like they respawn constantly, too. Unless I'm mistaken. 
Either that or there's just such a large quantity of them that... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's, uh, let's go turn everything off. And we'll be good. They also make, uh, or they make good biofuel. These things? Good to know. Yeah, if I know that they're harvestable, we'll never have to worry about, uh, power out here. Okay. So what's it gonna do? Right. That's inactive. And you don't need to be running anymore. Alright, uh, let's see. So, inventory is full of rubies. Man, I'm gonna be wealthy when we get back, except for they're going to take all my shit. Uh, we should power some, or charge some of these. I've got the deep shroom. I'd like to get those spores, but I think they're gonna rot away before I get to use them on anything. So, go to inventory. You've still got plenty. I'm just gonna give it all the rubies and the uranite. Because if I die, we lose something? I'm actually not sure what we lose. Oh, we're hungry. Well, easy kind of lame option. Oh, you can destroy these. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I wonder if you get, like, real sick off of that sort of thing. Did I? Oh. Oops. I forgot to actually eat the cooked boomerang that I, well, cooked. My peeper! No, peeps! Alright, whatever. He gets the Viking Dom Nom, and you've been replaced by boomerangs. They always come back. Okay, rotten doesn't matter, they plant no matter what. Oh, Andy. Oh, that's just the remaining bits. Right, so I'm just gonna hold on to one. I effectively want to have a, a crazy variety garden uh, at my other base. These I'll just leave here for the sake of propriety. Let's head up. Uh, do I have a med kit in my inventory? Nope. Well, I'll live. I did dump a bunch, so I'm over here. I guess, honestly, easiest option is just to go back. When you, when you die, you lose from the last save. I thought it was the last time you were in a base. Whoa! <laughs> Wish I had seen that from third person. Yeah, so we wanna... Yeah, so last time you entered a hatch. Well, that's easy enough. Pretty much didn't lose anything then. Or won't lose anything. Let's go check out the captain's cabin, because I've never been in there. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's going to be particularly useful. So, do we effectively get to build a, uh, a spaceship? Eventually. And bail on the planet? Because if so, that's kind of rad. Alright. Round three, jerks. And hopefully the last time I will see any of you. What's the best way in? Do we take the shortcut in? Probably. Anyone know how to sleep well? Uh, having a good bed helps a lot. Like, a lot. Exercise is amazing for sleeping well. If you're willing to go through the effort of doing so. Uh, good pillow. Good pillow is always important. I mean, honestly, like... I guess I'm not exactly the best example for this one. Uh, I had serious issues sleeping for years. It wasn't until I went to college that I was actually able to sleep consistently through the night uh, and actually get, like, enough sleep. Uh, and what I found out is, more or less, I'm not a morning person. Not exactly that complicated of a, a thing, honestly.
but like effectively coming to the realization that yeah I don't I shouldn't go to bed before midnight actually helps a lot I wouldn't exactly say sleeping but drinking like a a glass or two of water before bed not like too much so you have to pee in the middle of the night but just enough uh, that you're hydrated actually helps you wake up in the morning otherwise you're like really groggy and unhappy is there. Obviously, make sure that you're warm. That's like no-brainer nonsense. Alright, this is this is the one. Ugh. Okay. Uh, read helps. Absolutely read. I used to read a lot of books trying to go to sleep. Okay, so we want to do uh, ops logs. Notes to self. Okay, here it is. Captain's Quarters. Before they lost communications, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. There's a high-security terminal inside the Captain's Quarters, located behind the Prawn Bay. From which... The blueprints should be accessible. 2679. I guess I don't need that any anymore. PDA, Captain's Log. Loading program, Craig McGill Simulator Vrat. Size 1 player, Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Map, Oriel 9, Reese's Normal. Oh, that's funny. You are exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived in here implodes. Must be the... Arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site. Farm alien plants. Use tectonic de imploner. Unavailable. That's just what Craig McGill would do. After forging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Starwall eggs. Well, the starwall eggs are nutritious. The life cycle of these vast, space fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm, and besides, their mother is extremely angry with you. Except for your fate. Craig McGill knows that there's no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in the service of the Star Wars continued survival. Would you like to continue? No. <laughs> I want to play that game. Okay. Get a poster of the Aurora. Get nothing. Get a little Aurora miniature. And last recorded transmissions. PDA data. We also can make the Neptune escape rocket. Average long range transmission delay eight hours. Opening last recorded. Oh, right. Average long range transmission delay eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications, really, offline. So that's it. Just, we have the blueprint for the rocket. Alright, let's get out of here. I was kind of hoping there would be, like, more of a deep mystery going on behind... Uh, the captain and even the Altera ship. I don't want to say there's, like, some amount of stuff. If you start reading the, um... If you start reading the... PDAs that I found? But I don't remember that well. Okay, no, there's nothing fancy in here. Some, Sometimes I think that there's... Uh, I don't know, I guess it's kind of one of those where it's like... There, uh, there is. Most of it's in the PDAs. Yeah, I'll have to go searching then. Do I have pretty much all the story PDAs or should I keep looking? 
Yeah, because I know there's a deep mystery, but it's not about the ship. It's about the planet. Uh, I guess I'm just mildly, like, maybe Dead Space. I We got to get back to Dead Space at some point. So I really like Dead Space. And I really want to finish my series on it. I've just been busy playing this game instead. Okay, well, I don't need this out anymore. Get out of my way, crab face! I really like that the character will actually make a diving... ...like, pose with their arms. Okay. So... We've got pretty much everything I could possibly want out of this area. It's still going to be... Hmm. The light's off, so we don't have to deal with him. He's coming my direction. Let's leave... Let's give him a very solid wide berth. Nope. Please don't. Please don't. And that's why I should probably repair this thing more often. Well, at least we lived through that one. Okay, so he doesn't look like he's coming around two. That's good. I'm just gonna hide behind the sea both for this one. How did you survive? He actually leaves you alone for a little bit. Like, he... In my experience, they bite... It, it takes two... Two hits from a Reaper Leviathan to take out a Sea Moth. At least a largely unupgraded Sea Moth. Usually they once shot a Sea Moth. Really? I, I've i never actually had to kill, uh, do more than 50% of your health in one hit. Maybe turning the lights on and off again actually helps? I'm gonna pretend that it did, because... I... I don't know. Well, whatever. I... that's two times I've gotten bit by one of those guys, and by flashing the lights on him, he was like, You know what? Let's leave... let's live him... let's let him be. And yeah, I'm gonna want to get the per perimeter defense system for obvious reasons, so I don't have to worry about that again. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the blueprint for that, because I don't have the ability to mod... my Seamoth. Yet. Like, I think we've got one or two mods, maybe? But I think they're the ones I found. I don't actually know if I can build them yet. Which is unfortunate, but still. But yeah, I think we only took, uh... 40-50 damage from that. Yeah, moon pool. I th thought... Yeah, it's part of the modification station in the moon bay. And I don't have the modification station yet. Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't know where that blueprint is. Unfortunately. And until we find it, I'm I'm locked off. Unless we have access to it and I just had no idea. How much water have you created? A decent chunk, in fact. And a fair bit of salt. So that's good. Uh let's see. Yeah, because we have Cyclops upgrades, but no Cyclops yet. Uh, let's go, let's go dump stuff in storage. Oh, right. Let's go do some farming. Because, yeah, I think these things grow pretty quick.
Okay, so let's switch container, switch container, and switch container. I'll let those grow for a bit. I'm just going to fill up my inventory of lube, more or less. Then we should probably figure out getting a, uh, a truckload of... What do I need for quartz? Because that's something. Uh, it's crystal alchemy. What do I need for quartz? Vein nettle seed and creep vine samples. Uh, are those common? I bet I could... I bet we can figure out where those are. Okay, I'll get rid of those. Because, yeah, I, I haven't been bothering to look for basic plants and seeds and stuff. Safe shallows. Okay, so real easy to get my hands on. Because yeah, if I can, if I can just start growing uh, some basic things like quartz, for example. Oh, oh, we burnt the power on this. Uh, up, 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 up. Online. Okay, so let's go grab the vein nettle. Sorry for being quiet. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do here. Okay, so the vehicle upgrade station is in a data box in one of three wrecks. Grassy plateaus, sparse reefs, and mushroom forest wrecks. Alright, uh... I don't know where some of those are. Is this vein nettle? What is this? That's writhing reed. Can I... I'm gonna grab the seeds for those. I I'm just gonna have a giant farm. That's a writhing nettle, nettle or whatever it is, or a vein nettle. Ow! Not necessarily sure what hurt me there. Okay. Cause yeah, I'd like to divorce myself a little bit from the amount of um, effort I have to do to to gather all these resources. It's awkward. Having a hell of a time finding silver, playing while watching here. Are there any farming locations for silver? Good places are deeper than 100 meters, uh, to some degree. So down here tends to have an amount, but it's kind of hard to see just because of the red grass. Uh, deeper parts of the... And this is early game locations. There's better better spaces than that. Um, the deeper parts of the, uh, the area with all, all the stalkers and the kelp. That's not a bad idea. What other areas are particularly good? You know, actually, we should do a little bit of farming. Um... Oh. Do I have more titanium? Or is it all on the sea moth? It might all be on the sea moth. I don't know. My eventual goal is to cover this entire... This entire area in grow beds. Maybe put, like, a light source up here. Let's see, so we don't need more creep vine clusters. We do want to drop off the vein nettles and the writhing re weeds, though. 
Oh, and let's drop off the deep mushrooms. Because I want to grow them too. There we go. Whole bunch of mushrooms. If I get a reactor. Well, let's go grab a bunch of the resources. See, uh, resources, blood oil. I think I'm growing the blood oil. Yeah, growing blood, blood vine. It'll take a little while though. Yeah. Somebody's getting the stabbings today. He did not like that. Oh, he did not like a knife through flank. Where'd my... Oh, Seamoth's over here. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so we wanted to grab... Oh, right. Not my own inventory. I want to probably offload almost all of this if I can into storage. At some point, we're probably going to want to look over what I've got set up here and move it all around. But for now, it's okay. Uh, speaking of, we should probably convert... Let's get one more... one more bit of lube, and then we've got to get, uh... silicone rubber. More lube than a reasonable survivor needs. Well, good... good for me! I am, uh, I am an unreasonable survivor. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, plastic ingots, uh, we're gonna need a bunch of those. I should probably look at other upgrades f first, or just figure out what I need to alchemy for the rest of it. Lantern fruit. So, next order of business, we should probably go find the other island. Like, effectively clear out my inventory. And go. Yeah, let's do that. But first, 